Hi, my name is Dr. Jason Reich. I teach Algebra 1 Multivariable Calculus and Pre-Calculus in the Upper Division at Cassidy, and I'm very thankful that I was sent to the ISAS New Teachers Conference in New Orleans this year. I think it is helpful. It definitely makes me feel more comfortable, and I know I have more tools that I'm using now. We talked about active learning and student movement being important, so I thought one good way to get them involved is using the whiteboards. I have small whiteboards that I pass out to each student and they can you know, move around a little to help pass them out and then also move around a little when they rise them up to show me their answers. To. And it gives me an opportunity to give them instant feedback. I don't have to wait for a formal assessment to see if they're absorbing the material or, or not. And that's something we talked about at the conference too. So I thought it was a really useful tool. Hey STEM Club, I wanted to give everybody who wasn't able to attend the meeting this Wednesday a quick overview of what we did. So far I've just downloaded the software and created one video for the STEM Club. When Epsilon was one, the number of iterations is two. And that's what we got, two times through the loop. And I realized I could make lectures uh, that I could post on Google Drive for students to watch at night. So what I want to talk about is what is maybe the least efficient way possible to approximate the number pi. One thing a lot of teachers use this for now is something called flipping the classroom. Um, that's where you basically film yourself doing whatever presentation you would have done during the regular school day and ask the students to watch that video at night as a homework assignment. And then during the school day, instead of giving a lecture, you instead work the homework with the students. I feel good about the new things I've incorporated and my intuition is that it is helping.